groundreport.com is a citizen news reporting site that allows anyone to publish their own articles, videos, and photos to a global audience and earn a revenue share based on their traffic. All of our work is vetted by our volunteer editors and you can reach an audience of millions. Some of our big scoops have been the Beijing Olympics, the Mumbai terrorist attacks, Taliban activity in Pakistan, and then even in our backyard covering Obama's elections through, through the eyes um, and words of, of regular Americans. We have 5,000 contributors on the ground who regularly submit stories every day. Building Ground Report Space has been completely deliberate. Um, it's not a typical internet startup where you just want to get as many people as possible. We're looking for a very sophisticated digital reporter who is able to convey what's going on from the ground level. So we want two things. We want them to be savvy enough to use the, the digital reporting tools, but we also want them to be on the ground, hyperlocal, to report exactly on what they're witnessing in their immediate vicinity. They don't, we don't want someone who's sitting at a desk in New York writing about Pakistan. We want a Pakistani lawyer who was protesting the day before to be writing about Pakistan. So I've been very deliberate in doing outreach to journalistic bloggers, um, professional journalists, retired or, or students in training, um, and then also nonprofits. A lot of people who happen to be witnessing some of the world's most urgent issues and they're there on the ground but lack the proper platform to get the word out. The vetting process really happens at the report level, so anyone can sign up and report immediately and submit reports, articles, videos, etc. for publication. But it won't go live until one of our editors takes a look at it. So anyone is allowed to do that. That way we don't miss the big scoops. We open up the doors in that way, but we need that layer of approval for it to really make sure that it's up to our standards and to be able to stand behind our brand name. We're happy to serve both of those audiences. I mean, one of the biggest things about hyperlocal news that is covering, covering issues and events at a level that's even more granular than the city level is that most of those topics are really most interesting to the other people who are living in that area. So of course, a lot of Ground Reports coverage that's that specific will be interest to, interesting to people in, in those spaces. Um, but on the other end, we have people, um, for instance, American audiences and just audiences all over the world who want to know what's really happening in the world, who recognize that the international media is not serving its goal to really inform the public. And so they're interested in these stories too. And they rely on Ground Report to sort of aggregate and vet all of this information that's coming in and give you a real picture of, okay, here's what people on the ground experiencing this event feel about it. Here's what the real story is. The only thing that we mean with the original content policy is it means you must have the rights to distribute whatever content you post on Ground Report. So we're very happy to work with people who are reposting from their blog or from independent news sources. In, in fact, they're some of our most valuable partners. What we don't allow is copyright infringement or plagiarism, which actually is pretty rampant on a lot of um, citizen journalism platforms. And that's because our biggest value at Ground Report, and we've made our name on this, is by having sophisticated original content and original reporting. Um, and that also helps us to pursue a syndication model. You can't syndicate other people's content. It's also something that doesn't really serve us in the end. Um, and it's not the kind of contributors we're looking for. So we're happy to adhere to that policy. Mm -hmm.